Hey everybody, in this video we are going to find trig ratios in two parts here. Um, first in this video I'm going to have you find uh, trig uh, ratios of 30 and 60 degrees and in the next video I'll break it up. I'm going to do 45 degrees and this is all under the presumption that you are doing this prior to learning the unit circle. So if you're watching this video after you've learned the unit circle, you might be like, well, this is silly. Like you can just use blah, 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 you know? Okay. This is under the, uh, understanding that you have not learned that yet. Right? So I don't care what drawing, what triangle, what diagram, what image is given to you in a question. But if you are asked to find the sine of 30 or 60 or 45 in the next video or previous video, I don't know, previous, I think, um, I don't care it, which trig ratio, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent, which one it is. But if it's 30 degrees, 60 degrees or 45 degrees, the picture doesn't matter. You do not need to stress yourself out with finding the other sides of the triangle, given one side, recalling the formula. You need to know the formulas for the sides, but you can do it a little quicker and easier. How, you may ask? Well, by having your brain access the rules for the sides. If you got 30 degrees, you might get some whimpering in a little bit. 60 degrees, and there's your 90 degree angle, obviously indicate that it's right angle. Figures are not drawn to scale. What are the three little expressions that we use to um, represent each of the sides of this special right triangle? Go ahead, write it down. I'm waiting. You could pretend you know. You don't know. Don't flip through your notebook. Write down what you think it is. This is x. 2 times x is the hypotenuse, not x rad 3. Radical 3 is smaller than 2 because 2 is radical 4. 2 is greater than radical 3, or radical 3 is less than 2 because 2 is the same as radical 4, and radical 3 is definitely less than radical 4. The biggest side is the hypotenuse, 2x. This side is x root 3. Then, as long as you know this picture, I don't care if one of the sides is 17 radical 21 over 5, and then you sit there and try to figure out the missing sides. No, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. The ratio of the sides of the triangle of a 30, 60, 90 triangle are always x to x root 3 to 2x. Whatever number you make one of the sides, the proportion of the sides is always consistent. So if you find a ratio, a trig ratio, right, you will be able to just pull the same exact answer from the formula triangle. So what are the ratios? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosecant will be hypotenuse over opposite, so let's do them back to back. If I'm doing 30 degrees opposite, guys, please get, get this. Opposite from 30 is x. x root 3 is adjacent to 30, and 2x is the hypotenuse no matter what. So x over 2x, but we simplify always. So if you knock out the x from top and bottom, reduce that. What's left for your final answer? 1 over 2. Not 0 over 2. Not 2. No, no. That's silly. That's ridiculous. That's not good. Don't do that. So it's 1 over 2. Also, sine and cosine. Since hypotenuse is in the denominator, it's the biggest side. Your answer for sine and cosine should always be less than 1. Okay? Similarly, your answers for secant and cosecant should always be greater than one, unless they each equal one, but that's for the unit circle, that's for later, okay? So then that means this is two over one. You're probably not gonna write it like that. You're probably just going to write two, done, finito. Cosine of 30, 30, what's the formula or uh, ratio that we need? Adjacent over hypotenuse. That's going to be x root three over 2x, reduce the x's, not cancel, cancel make zero, reduce or simplify. Rad 3 over 2, and then 
my dog found a bag of treats that I knocked off the counter. If you hear that crumbling noise. The secant is a reciprocal. We practice this. You should have memorized the reciprocal of radical three over two. You shouldn't even need to do work. You really shouldn't. If you do, you haven't. Oh God. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, you shouldn't even need to do work. Two root three over three. I, I don't know if my mic has noise canceling on it. Hypotenuse over adjacent. I should have written that first, whatever. Done. A lot of you messed this up. You stick your threes and your twos in all the wrong places. You need to make some flashcards, my friends. Tangent. Dallas, can you can you wait five minutes, please? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, buddy. Five minutes. Um, opposite over adjacent x. No, bud. Over x root three. Reduce the x's. You get one over root three. I guess I could do this. Then we have to rationalize for my rant on rationalizing. See the next video. That will then give you radical three over three. And then here, it was really root three over one, which is root three. And that was, oh yeah, adjacent over opposite. You're done. I don't care what the triangle in the picture says. But guys, it has to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You cannot just write 30 and 60 inside of a triangle and pretend it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You need to stop doing that. That is actually a bit insane. Like that makes, think about what you're doing. You're just writing it on a picture and saying, it's this now. That's like trying to say, no, no, look, the hurricane is going that way and draw a marker on the map and insist the hurricane, you can't do that. No, no, there's science behind stuff. It is what it is, leave it alone. So if it's not written for 30, 60, 90, there's no evidence of it being a 30, 60, 90. Don't make that up. Now here, sine of 60, here's 60. Opposite over hypotenuse, guess what? It's x root three over two x. That was this over here. That's gonna be root three over two. Go ahead, hit pause, finish. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Buddy, I will give you some cookies, okay? Please just wait a minute. Okay, um, si did you do it? Did you do it? Sine of 60 equals the cosine of 30. If you remember, the trig of an angle is equal to the co-trig of its complement. Got it? If not, just keep doing it the long way. If you do all your work here, you get two root three over three. If you do your work, again, press pause if you didn't do it. Stop being a weenie and just copying me. Go, press pause. Here, you get one. Did you do it by yourself? That's two. This is root three and this is root three over three. Again, yes, root three over three. Again, all you need is that picture. That's it. You, I don't care if I am trying to trick you. I'm gonna let's even go like this, right? I'm like this, here's 30 and degrees. Oh yeah, I type the degrees with little stars because the fonts on this thing I'm using don't let me use a degree symbol, so I don't know. Um, and then I give you like five root 13 over, now you definitely hear them. 17. Do you feel like figuring out what the short leg is? If the long leg is this, you multiply by root three over three, yada, yada. And then you gotta figure out the hypotenuse. You gotta double the short leg, blah, blah, blah. Then you gotta do compound fractions. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't care what it is. If you are not finding a missing side for the problem, if that's not what the question's asking, if it's asking you for the sine, the cosine, the tangent, because he can't see can't or cotangent, the shortcut is the way, okay? You're welcome. Thumbs up if you appreciate it. Thumbs down if you still hate it. Click a thumbnail for further guidance in the world of trigonometry. And I need to give my dog a cookie. Adios.